Hi everyone, this is Colleen Francis from Engage Selling. Today, I want to talk about your whole business on our sales leader strategy session. So, I recently referred somebody to my insurance provider. And when my friend called the insurance provider, she was given wrong information and she was told that they couldn't connect her to an agent because everyone was working from home. So, what just happened here? Well, that insurance company became instantly client repellent. What that receptionist did was turn away a new piece of business. Now, I don't care whether your business is soaring right now or whether you're struggling and just trying to stay, stay afloat. You can't afford to turn away new customers, especially customers who've been referred to you from a trusted source. So what do we do? Number one, let's make sure that everybody in your organization understands the importance of being customer focused. If they don't know the expectation, that's your fault as a leader or your fault as an owner because you haven't communicated it to them, trained them and coached them. So we start with the communication, set your expectation. Second thing we're going to do is take a look at your whole organization, every single point that intersects with a customer and make sure that all of those employees, all of those activities have training around them. Set the right expectations for scripts, for flowcharts, for cheat sheets. Make sure that they have checklists that they can follow so when you're not around, they still know what the expectation is. And then lastly, after they've been trained, you're going to coach them. Coaching one-on-one -on -one in a group session. You can coach them by listening to calls. You can coach them by sitting next to them while they're taking live calls. You can coach them by recording and gaining evidence and providing feedback on what you're hearing, what you want changed and what you want them to do more of. It's really a simple process and we do this in sales all the time. We just sometimes forget that every single one of our employees that intersects with the customer has the ability to help you grow sales or reduce sales. So make sure you train them, coach them, and set the expectation for what you want them to communicate to your customers. Thanks so much for joining me on today's sales leader strategy. For more discussions on topics just like this, visit us now at engagedselling.com.